Over 1,000 households taking refuge at Muna Kamburi IDP camp have benefited from food items courtesy of the National Emergency Management Agency and King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center. The items are expected to cushion the effect of the Boko Haram insurgency. TVC News Jesse Tafida reports. Muna Kamburi IDP camp, a home to over 1,000 displaced persons. The streets of the camp are busy with IDPs, mostly children roaming about. Some men in the camp are engaged in handiwork just to find a way to cater for their families. The National Emergency Management Agency and the King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center are here to distribute food items to the IDPs. The camp is one of the designated um, camps where we want to uh, distribute uh, relief items. We were here last month, five camps benefited from the same relief baskets, 8,000 households benefited. Like I told you initially, 16,000 food baskets, that means um, for 16,000 households. So 8,000 was distributed last month, so we, uh, that, um, today is a continuation of the second cycle. My message to the beneficiaries is that they should please ensure they utilize these items for themselves. I met 75-year-old Ali Musa, who said life in the camp cannot be compared to home. He yearns to go back so that he can go to the farm with his children. Mm. He says, I've been in this camp for nine years. My family came from Burma during the peak of the insurgency. Life here is not like home, but I'm happy to be part of today's beneficiaries. This gesture will greatly assist in feeding my wife and my children. The King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Nema say they will stretch out the gesture to other camps and host communities across the state so as to alleviate the hardship of the IDPs. These food items is expected to sustain the IDPs for the period of some time. But they still want the government to do everything possible to ensure their safe return back to their places of abode so they can go back to their livelihoods. This, they believe, will go a long way in catering the needs of their families sufficiently. Jessica Fida, TVC News.